and welcome back. In last week's video we talked about the entire problematic situation we humans find ourselves in of actually living in a modern world while still running on an ancestry outdated code. If you haven't had time to watch the video, make sure to do that now to tune in into all the information that we shared there. So in connection with that, let's look at one particular relevant aspect, which is all about how familiar is something to us. So when we look back to the times when we were cavemen, this was highly relevant in terms of actually assessing a situation in regards to its riskiness, in regards to its danger potential. So we would always, our mind would always know, okay, I did something and that benefited me in a certain way. I did one act and that helped me to survive. So the mind would repeat to do this kind of behavior and to produce these kind of patterns and behavior to keep us safe because it has found the proof that this has aided us in the past and so our mind wants to continue doing that because our mind wants to ensure that we survive and pass on our genetic code. That was highly relevant and most important to our mind. So that is what our mind is always going to be looking out for. However, that doesn't equal that we are actually living a fulfilled life, a happy life, a life completely acknowledging our desires and living life to the fullest. That's not what our mind cares about. Our mind just cares about our survival. So this can come in highly relevant with, with this familiar aspect. So let's look at it from that perspective. So back in the days, we knew, okay, familiar uh, environment, familiar concept, familiar comfort zone would keep us safe. So our mind would do anything to keep us within that scope. Anything else that's unfamiliar, anything else that's new would be considered dangerous and would be considered a risk for our survival. And so that's what our mind doesn't want to move us towards. That's highly, highly dangerous though in a modern world when we are presented with so many false triggers day in and day out. So you can might already be able to tell what this leads to because if you're not paying attention to this kind of instinct and to this kind of behavior pattern that results from this, our mind is falsely going to assume whenever being confronted with something new in modern society now and something new can just be you want to change your job, something new can just be you want to travel to another country, Something new can just be you want to talk to another person you would normally not talk to. And the problem is our mind is not going to help us. The problem is our mind is going to understand this from an evolutionary perspective and is going to try everything in its power to keep you safe and to remain in the comfort of the comfort zone you're already in, to remain in the familiar scope, even if this scope is destructive to you. The mind realizes we're in a safe zone, safe defined as I am alive, the body I want to protect is alive, that's considered safe. It doesn't mean though that you are in a happy place, in a fulfilled place, it just means your body is able to survive. And so here comes the trick, because we really closely and actively have to tell our mind if we want to do something new, if we want to produce some new behavior, if you want to move to another another level in your life because our mind is not automatically going to take us there. So it's on us to start learning about our mind and to start learning to work together with our mind and to give our mind the right instructions so our mind can actually work as the body that we want it to be and actually take us to the level where we want to get. And this is what we're all talking about here. If you want to learn more about this, of course, connect with me on Instagram, visit my website, you can find more information there, you can book a free discovery call with me, and of course, always here, subscribe and like and share the video with people that might need to hear this, and I'm excited when you tune in next time and when we can share more knowledge.